Hey, Dan Fitzpatrick here, StockMarketMentor.com, and I uh, want to look at Ross Stores um, today. Here's why. Wouldn't it have been nice <coughs> to have looked at it yesterday uh, before the company reported earnings? So if you bought this stock, you made a boatload of money on it, right? Mm, only if you bought it yesterday and held it over earnings. Um, so think about it this way, too. So you own the stock. The stock pops, opens 17% um, above the close. Okay, so that's, I'll take that all day long. Wish I had my entire account in there. I'd make up for a lot. And even though it did fall back, uh, the stock ultimately gained 10%. So this was a monster move on the day. Oh my gosh, it's up 10%. You look at the weekly chart, pretty extended. But yet again, this is up. 10%. Here's the problem. And I'm, you know, this is kind of just a lesson more than anything else um, to newer traders. Don't ever buy a stock that gaps up 17% ever. Not ever. Not even one time. There will be no time that's different. Here's what happens. You buy the stock and you want to get into it first thing in the morning before everybody else gets in on it, right? But everybody is already in on it. Everybody's buying at the same time you are, which is why the stock gaps up so much. The pros don't do that. The pros see what's going on. They're not going to buy the damn stock. They probably don't even own it. They're sure not going to buy it. But they're going to see this demand and say, hey, man, I'll sell you as much stock as you want. And then I'll just buy it back when the demand uh, falls away and the price comes down. And then I'll make a little money. Okay, that's called a short sale. That is what professional traders do in instances like that. And it's nothing personal. They don't look at the people um, that are buying the stock that they're shorting as, you know, knuckleheads or anything else. They just look at it as demand. Like, ah, we're just, I'm just filling demand. And then when the demand goes away, stock comes down, then that's when I will get the supply back um, that I strung out there. So the lesson of the day, boys and girls, is when you're late to the party, don't go to the party because you're only going to wind up with a bad hangover. Now, what do we do? So you look at this stock through, you know, one of the, just one of the lenses that I have during the day where I look at the volume weighted average price. We'll get rid of this as well. You look at the volume weighted average price, we'll look at it on a 15 minute chart. Like right away, this stock was in trouble. Right away. It's a huge amount of volume here. Okay, on this bar, this is again like five minutes into the day, and you've got close to a million shares already traded. So Let's say you're buying this stock. By now, you need to figure out what's going on. You don't even have to look any further than that. You got to look at this and say, all right, I'm clearly wrong on this. Stock's been open for 15 minutes. And if this thing was going to keep going up, it would have by now. I thought that I was going to be getting in early because I'm naive and I don't really know how to trade. But by God, I want to get this stock because it's up so much. By now. If you're not looking at this and saying, oops, then you you really need to try to figure out another line of work. You know, barber school, uh, maybe the ink factory or something. And then by now, you're definitely out of luck. So this stock 15 minutes into the day is down only a little over 3%. But wait, there's more. Oh, here's the rebound. Now I got to buy it. Okay, well, that didn't work either. By now... You can see that the volume weighted average price indicator is the ceiling for this stock. We want it to be the floor. And so the rest of the day, wait, the stock just keeps going lower and lower and lower. So the moral of the story is this. Don't buy a stock that gaps up 7, 17% or you're liable to lose 10% before the close. And the other lesson here is as soon as you start to doubt yourself on something like this, 
you need to get out. You can always get back in, but there is no room for doubt in trading. If you're in doubt, get out. All right, that's all I got for you. By the way, um, next week, we're going to do what everybody else on the planet does, and that's have a Black Friday sale. Uh, I suggest that you want to watch. Uh, you want to watch for that. We've got a lot of good specials for uh, members, but also for non-members too. So wait for the emails, watch for the emails, and get in there, all right? I'll see you later. <laughs>